Here's a drum lesson that's worth watching because it's for drummers of all levels, whether you're a beginner drummer or a professional drummer, and it's also worth watching because I stuck a camera to my head, and it's really uncomfortable. So, you know, I'm putting in the effort here, guys. Please give me a like. It makes me happy and subscribe. or do whatever you're doing. Anyway, but uh, what we're going to look at is some displacement, okay? And you can do this even if you're a beginner drummer or if you're an advanced drummer. It's good to understand what displacement is and where to put it. But essentially, you're just putting a snare drum uh, in a different place. Displacement. That's one way to think about it. So if you're playing a groove that's going like one, two, three, four. Your snare drum is on two and four, generally. Two, three, four. So when you do a displacement, so this is for the beginner drummers, I'll get into some advanced stuff in a sec, but the uh, try and put the snare drum slightly later. First of all, try and count as you do the groove so you know where one, two, three, four, the in-between notes you count one and two and three and four and... But those notes just there, especially the second one that you're doing on beat four, try moving it to either the and a four, so just after, or just before the four. So here's just after the four. So one and two and three and four and one two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and get any kit, give it a go. And then the other one is going just before the four, so and just before the four. So one, two, three, oh, sorry, I got it wrong. Ah, one, <laughs> two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, so it's coming in between the three and the four. So you can see there's those two placements. Now, if I speed them up, this is where it's getting a little more interesting for the more advanced guys, and I'll show you where you can use that as well, uh, is it starts to sound really cool. Just that little displacement, putting the snare not where you expect it, also makes it diff more difficult to play, but also makes the audience go, ooh, there's a little bit of something fancy there. So again, if I uh, speed her up, Or if I put it just before the four. So yeah, a bit more interesting. But then you start putting all the extra little trimmings and things that you normally do for a groove, like extra bass drums, ghost notes, open hi-hats and things, and it starts to sound really cool. So I'm going to do a couple of grooves now with that displacement stuff, but I'm going to add a few of the extra trimmings just to show you where you can take it. You see it in there, I was starting to use it in fills. So one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and because again, having backbeats in fills, if you've not seen that before, that's great. Rather than doing a type fill. Put the snare drum on the two and the four in your fills, and all of a sudden people can dance along with the fills. And I would nod my head like the audience would do, but if I nod too much, I'll give you guys travel sickness. But So again, that's a little tip, bonus tip. But then, trying to put the displacement within your fills as well makes it sound groovy, but also interesting groovy as you're doing the fills. So you can see, just trying to move it into different places. So just next time you're playing your drums, try and just work with where my snare drum normally goes. Try and do it slightly later or slightly earlier and just see what happens, see how it affects the groove, and it's just a new thing you can add into your playing. Anyway, you guys have a great day, and I'm going to take this stupid camera off my head, because it hurts. Anyway, <laughs> the things, you, the sacrifices you do for your craft. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you guys take care. See you soon.